We're going to cut out the rudder and elevator along the hinge line and smooth out any edges on the foam. If there's any rough spots, just trim those off. They're just remnants of the laser cutting process. Likewise, right here, you can cut that piece out. You don't need it. And now you can insert your horizontal stabilizer into the slots. They should mate up nicely. Look for good alignment. There are some markings on the top side. You can see those markings there. Make sure it's nice and straight. Once the tail is straight, you can hit it with some foam safe CA and accelerator. Make sure it's nicely aligned. Next, we'll add a carbon rod to strengthen the elevator piece. We add it just like so. The, the carbon rod goes on the top side and the control horn is going to be on the bottom side. There's a little slot that has been pre-cut for the control horn. We'll use the angled one for the elevator. So we pull that out and fit it right into the slot and glue it down. Slide your elevator into place on the tail and get your alignment good. We're going to be using hinge tape on the top side to make the hinges of the elevator. Cut some 3mm strips of the supplied hinge tape and use your hobby knife to lay the pieces in place. You can leave a half millimeter gap in between on the hinge line if you like. Anything can work as long as it has good range of motion. You want full deflection up and down, like maybe 25-30 degrees. The rudder is much the same process. We'll tape it in place and we'll be checking our range of motion. Here we have a little bit of a problem. It doesn't want to move up there. On that direction it's looking okay. So what are we going to do about that? The answer is as simple as taking your hobby knife and just cutting a bevel down the length of the hinge. This should allow a good range of motion, good deflection in both directions. And that's what you need.